In this quick tip tutorial, we're going to look at the different ways segments can be deformed on the Z axis. In addition to the default behavior, in which the segment adapts to follow the tangents of the path, it's also possible to step segments and deform them so that their verticals remain upright but horizontal elements follow the spline. A hybrid stepped vertical option is also possible to maintain a stepped area measured from either the top or the bottom of the segment, as in this example. Using these techniques we can create complex structures like railings and balustrades. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, just download all the necessary scene files from i2soft.com. So to get started, create a new Rail Clone Pro object in any viewport and open the style editor. We're going to use a linear array and we need an, a segment for the treads and a single spline. Let's pick the spline stair path from the scene and wire this into the spline input and then pick the tread segment from the scene and put this in the default section. Before we go any further, let's just get in a bit closer in here and look at the gap between these. Because of the nosing on each tread, we're getting a space between each segment. We just want to close that up by putting a negative value in the padding. So come into tread, come over to general, and for the left and right padding, we want to bring this down. And each side is about negative 0.013. If you do that for left and right, they should meet perfectly. Now we want to ensure that the spline, which is currently in the center, defines the right hand side of the staircase. So just come into your tread settings again, down to alignment and on the Y, change it to bottom. And you see it pushes it over so that the spline is on the right. And we also want the spline to be at the top of the staircase in this case. So in Z, just change this to top. And finally for the tread, we can go into the deform settings and this is where we use the this is where we use the Z deform to get the effect we're after. Uh, if we change it to stepped, we get something that looks like a staircase on the top and the bottom. But in this example, we want the top to be stepped and the bottom to follow the spline. In order to do that, change the deform type to vertical. We've now got the bottom following the spline and we have upright verticals, but we need to bring the steps back. So again, go into deform and in vertical mode, just change the flat top setting. And as I change this and turn it up, you should see it start to correct itself. And we want to bring that down just below these moldings here. So about 0.2 is probably okay. Yeah, 0.2 works. In the next step, we'll add the handrail and we'll use flat bottom instead to keep the balustrades on the steps whilst the handrail follows the splines. So to do that, come back to the style editor and we're going to add a new linear array for the balustrades and handrails. So add one of those, connect the existing spline and add a new segment. And using this, we can pick the handrail with the single balustrade from the scene. Wire this to the default input. Okay, so now we need to correct the vertical offset again. So come into single balustrade, go to deform and change the deformed to vertical. That's working well with the handrail, but as you can see, the moldings of the balustrades are getting deformed as well, which doesn't look right. So this time, we want to make sure that the top area stays following the spline, whilst the bottom area is stepped. And to do that, we want to turn the flat bottom value up. And it's going to be about 0.9. Just to round it off. So now we can see these are nice and upright. Um, these are stepped. And maybe just to fix this gap here, we'll bring the whole thing down by going into the linear array settings itself and bring the Z offset down so it just sits back on the steps. There we go. And you might find you have to just tweak the flat bottom setting down a little more, so maybe 0.82. So now we have these sat on the bottom. We've got them following the stop. Um, there's no distortion in the moldings on the balustrades or the turning on the balustrades. Um, but the handrail follows the splines. If you want to add a couple of end caps to the handrail, there are some in the scene. So just go back to your style, add, uh, duplicate this segment here. Just copy and paste. Connect that to start. Pick the end from the scene. 
and you'll see it's on the ground somewhere at the moment so we just want to change the Z to pivot to move it up to here and then we want to change the alignment on the X this time to right to stick it on the end there we go Let's put it on the end there and then perhaps do the same on the other end by duplicating this end cap copy and paste put it for a mirror operator just to flip it around and this time for this one set the X alignment to left and with that style finished if you want to in this scene there is a spiral staircase that renders quite nicely so just unhide those and change the base object spline to the one that's inside there set the camera and hit render in this video we used vertical deformation mode in conjunction with flat top bottom mode to create a simple staircase this technique could be extended to add neural posts and much more for more information please visit our tutorials page our vimeo and youtube channels or follow us on facebook and twitter